Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about the one topic that is the NTI portal platform, the safety program, the comparison between the offline and the online issue. This is one actual case I faced in recent days. The typical issue that is uh, if you open the one TA portal project and this controller has a safety function inside, actually this is a safety controller. And especially this is one existing project. By the customer requirements, uh, you need to add something in this existing logic, I mean in the normal PLC logic. But after you compare, even if you only download the standard PLC without any change, without any login, the safety logic. However, once you download the standard PLC program, when you go online compare, so you will find, like showing in the picture, all the standard PLC program, they show all match because match means green. But however, the safety program shows a difference there are difference inside the safety. As I mentioned, 100% you can guarantee you never touched the safety program before, touched the safety logic in this project before, I never log in the safety administrator portion in this uh, TI portal safety program. But however, after I download the standard logic, so I found the safety shows a difference. Uh, but all things is once you Double click this safety program. Basically, that is a read only mode. And you go online, and you know the TI portal platform, it has a function. You can online compare the offline with the online difference. So once we go offline and online compare, it shows all the logic, they all match. And also, if you have some background of a Siemens safety, so you may think maybe after we compiled the signature or the timestamp change. However, if you go to the safety administration without login, you can still look at this general information, the program signature. You can find this offline signature and the timestamp, the all without any change. So it's really odd. The program still show the different. The safety logic offline and online, they are all the same. But this icon always shows uh, doesn't match. That is a very typical issue for the Siemens uh, safety program. So to solve this or to prevent this happens, uh, one key method that is uh, we need to create one or two interface buffer DB, interface data block. That interface DB plays a role to exchange the data from the standard PLC to safety PLC or exchange the data from the safety PLC to standard PLC. There's one official document talks about this. So if we go to the Siemens support website, support.industry.siemens.com and search this ID number 1097. 50255. Search it. We will find one document programming guideline safety for Cimatic i7 1200 and 1500 that also works for i7 300 safety. You can download this uh, PDF file. And this is a very good document talk about the programming guideline how to program the Cimatic i7 1200 and 1500 safety logic. So if we go to the section 3.9, this 3.9 talk about the data exchange between the standard user program and safety program. If we look at this, so in order to move non-safety related functions to the standard user program, you have to define an interface. Global data blocks are best suited for this purpose. And if you read the detail of this recommendation, the key idea is oh, we need to create one or two interface buffer DB. In the safety logic, it is inevitable to use the, the tag or the signal from the standard PLC tag or standard PLC DB. 
For example, like the door switch, uh, we hit the door required or the hit the door enter. So basically the cell need to wait for the robot go to the home position and that time and that time the safety logic will allow the safety door solenoid to release. So you can imagine that robot go home position or go to the home cube. That home, that at home, usually that is the one standard status. It's not a safety status. So we need to create one or two interface buffer DB, interface data block. So in my case, for example, this is a safety program, and this controller that is a i7-315 safety controller. And in this safety logic, control this index table enable. Um, so other than the e-stop, gate switch, and light curtain clear, so the signal is still waiting for these two normal status. These two status come from two normal DB. This is the one existing project and this project programmed by others before. I used this 2db to add some signals. That time I didn't open the safety logic. I didn't know the safety logic used this 2db. So there's the inevitable change or add something in this existing db. So after the db10 and the db15 got a change, after we compile this controller and download the standard FC and the DB, after this, the safety found the difference because that DB recompiled and the timestamp got a change. So the safety found the difference, even if the logic never got a change. So that means if your safety logic uses some text or signals come from the standard PLC, but actually you change something in standard DB and after you compile, even if there's no safety logic change, after you download the standard logic, that safety will show the difference. So unless you download the safety logic, this difference will always show here. But you know, sometimes it's not easy to download the safety. First thing, uh, safety is very important. Usually once the safety download or your signature got a change, you have to call the CSA or call the safety engineering to check it again. This whole process is really complex. And another thing, after all, that is safety. In case accidentally change something, that will cause the potential safety issue. And third thing, so, you know, to download the safety, the whole controller need to restart. So, you know, in your project, you have a lot of uh, DB there. If the system get a restart, maybe some existing data will lost. If the, some data was not set as a retain, so once you restart the system, that data will be lost. So that will be a lot of issue, potential issues there. So best way is when you design the project, if your project use the safety controller, if your project is using a safety controller, Siemens safety controller, you better follow this guideline. It is inevitable to exchange the data between the normal and the safety logic. So the best way is we create two interface DB. One interface DB plays the role to exchange the data from the standard to safety. And one DB gets the signal from the safety and transfer to standard PLC. So with this interface DB, even if you change something in this standard DB, but if there's no change on the interface DB, no recompile, no add the, the one line in this interface DB, for this area, from the safety wheel, there will be no any change in this area, even if your standard logic change or DB changed. So that is one key idea. We need to use the buffer DB here. So regarding this uh, guideline, it has a lot of rich information. Before you program the safety logic, it is highly recommend you better read this. So we know the back off system and the OMRO system, they all have uh, some settings uh, in the software 
basically that settings plays a role on this uh, interface portion. For the new starter, uh, it is a little bit annoying because you need to transfer the data to that buffer area. And in the safety, you need to grab this uh, interface tags to this uh, safety. However, uh, with this interface, even if your standard logic change, there's no any impacts on this uh, safety logic. Uh, the same idea, uh, the CVS, you can use this tag very flexible, but however, to prevent this uh, difference issue, so we better create a two interface DB. So that is our today's topic. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.